Okay, with product update 1 for 2012, we have a new ability to find and remove floating features on parts that hinder regeneration operations. So, for example, um, if you have parts that have uh, features that exist outside the part, uh, for instance, uh, maybe a cut that's uh, outside the geometry, the solid geometry of the part, uh, you can actually uh, run a, a search on those now. So you just right click on the part and go to find no face floating features and it brings up a dialog that shows you that there's uh, two of those you can choose to suppress them all or you can delete them all we'll choose delete all and then when you come back into the uh, scene browser here you can see that those uh, floating features are now gone and this will help speed up uh, part regenerations if you have a lot of these so you can use that uh, new function to uh, improve your performance in uh, product update 1 2012 Okay, with product update 1 for 2012, we have a new ability to find and remove floating features on parts that hinder regeneration operations. So, for example, um, if you have parts that have uh, features that exist outside the part, uh, for instance, uh, maybe a cut that's uh, outside the geometry, the solid geometry of the part, uh, you can actually uh, run a, a search on those now. So you just right click on the part and go to find no face floating features and it brings up a dialog that shows you that there's uh, two of those you can choose to suppress them all or you can delete them all we'll choose delete all and then when you come back into the uh, scene browser here you can see that those uh, floating features are now gone and this will help speed up uh, part regenerations if you have a lot of these so you can use that uh, new function to uh, improve your performance in uh, product update 1 2012